Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Double news back. So I said I would do a segment on how you can put a, a clutch on the V400 flywheel. See, I got mine on there. It was really simple to do. There's two ways you can do this. Um, I did kind of like the simple, simple way. The other way, um, I'll get to in a second. Okay, so what I did was I had my flywheel off my, you know, FS100. And um, now if you see in there, there's four holes, okay? And if you see two of the holes are, they're like 2.5 millimeter and the other ones were three millimeter. So here's what I did. I took... Um, the two flywheel. I took this flywheel off just the way it was and I got a Oh a little bolt here a six millimeter bolt. Let's see if I got one laying here in my pile of stuff here Okay, so take a six millimeter bolt you see it there <clears throat> Now on the flywheel you're gonna see there's a recess side and then there's another recess side with a boss on it, okay? Now, you take your two flywheels, lay it down with the boss side up, screw this in through the first flywheel, okay? And then, I got my, hold, trying to hold a light with one hand, I'm not in my studio and my lighting sucks up here, so bear with me. Okay, so you want to get a nice long six millimeter that sticks out beyond the threads and then I can't really bolt it to this thing but as you can see I bolted this on there and tightened it up flat to flat now the funny thing is these flywheels are ex almost exactly the same circumference they are the same circumference they're just recessed inside here for a lighter weight but when you do that take the two outer holes the three millimeter ones and after you get these two bolted together um, I drilled it and I took some pins out of one of my other flywheels which I think are around 16th of an inch pins and I uh, drilled them and made sure they were centered and then tapped the pins in and then separated the flywheels but you separate the flywheels first then then tap your pins in but so what I come up with was a perfect circumference for my my flywheel. Now there's another way you can do this, okay? When you bolt all this together, okay, and you're looking at the width of this, you can cut this stud back, okay, on the crankshaft. You can cut this stud back probably halfway through this um, the original flywheel here you know cut it like right where you think it would be half you mark it and you cut it off there now if you have a um, a pilot shaft that is a six millimeter what you do is you take either a grub screw that's a six millimeter grub screw this is not but I mean and you what you do is you just cut the bolt off you bolt this into your pilot shaft, bolt this on, and then bolt your pilot shaft right to it, and it'll butt up against that. And just make sure it's not too long so it tightens up against this. So that way everything comes together kind of nice, and you're not, uh, you know, you, you, you don't have to worry about the setup that I used was this. I already went over this once. Um, I'll wash her out of here, and I'll take this apart so you guys can see exactly what I did. Um, <clears throat> I just took a three millimeter screw because the inside of the crankshaft is tapped to three millimeter and uh, a couple of bearings here and this is a small small clutch um, but here's what I did I took a piece of brake tubing okay and a piece of fuel hose and basically uh, you set your clutch bell on your in put your flywheel on your engine 
put a piece of brake tubing in there and you see where it's going to set out to the end there and give you enough room for you know a little bit of play at the end there so you can throw a washer or two on it and then you bolt it all together and then you have your um, your clutch set up with just a, uh, a piece of brake tubing like I say I've used this hundreds of times it's never failed me um, this here is going to be a test on this engine because it's got so much power now one of the things I did learn from this um, if you remember correctly when I had first put my transmission together over here I was making it a two-speed um, now the three millimeter here will slide right down inside that brake tubing just like that and then you take this and you bolt it right on that when it's on all done put a little Loctite a little Loctite on your on your screw screw it in on the crankshaft and you'll be fine now the transmission I took the uh, the engine DIY transmission all right this one did a little gearbox I got there four reverse and I mounted the capo transfer case to the back I used the shaft that comes right through and I just I had to hack the shaft off just before the hex on the capo thing but that's all right I just ordered another shaft and um, then I had a two-speed setup out here on this but the problem was the gears were too too soft and uh, it I had trouble with the, the first clutch I put on here was aluminum and uh, um, the holes in the clutch itself were too small so the clutch was sticking and then it would all of a sudden engage at a super high RPM when it did <clears throat> it smoked the teeth right off the um, the plastic two-speed gear so I had made this gear out of steel just to put on here to get the thing up and running so I can test my gear ratios and go from there so but like I say there that's the simple uh, simple way to put your flywheel on now if you don't have a flywheel like this go get a regular two-stroke flywheel and still use a three millimeter uh, bolt in the center of this and if you have to kind of shim it with some tubing or something to, to center it, once you center it um, where your um, pins are, remove the pins out of your two-stroke flywheel and mark your flywheel and then drill them. And then use the pins out of that and put it right in this. That's what I did. So I did that on my uh, FS100 single cylinder one. But anywho, that's how I did it. I wanted to make sure everybody kind of had a... Uh, just on how it was going on if you see I got this crazy crazy mount going here on there I made so I can fit this into my uh, capo uh, JK max so but anywho like I say the saga continues and I'll be back with some more builds adios